Hey folks, today we're going to talk about demand pull inflation. Demand pull inflation. And we're going to focus on the perspective of government spending, known as fiscal policy. Now, we also know that demand pull inflation could be affected by other components, consumer spending, investment spending, and exports. But we're going to focus today on fiscal policy that of government spending. And if you remember talking about fiscal policy, there were two specific types of policies that the Congress, the government, can implement in affecting the economy. The first one is government spending. So again, we know that the Congress has a power of the purse and they're able to appropriate X amount of money every year to spend on all non-discretionary items, such as Social Security and Medicare, along with discretionary items, which would be everything else, US military, science, agriculture, etc. Now remember that when we look at the GDP, we do not include the non-discretionary programs of Social Security and Medicare, because those are considered to be transfer payments. We do, however, include the spending that the Congress makes on the military, again, science, transportation, agriculture, etc. So now we're going to see how government spending affects demand pull inflation. Let's go ahead and say that government spending is going to increase. Uh, perhaps because the U.S. Congress would like to purchase more government jets. Now we can draw in the government market on the x-axis quantity of jets and on the y-axis the price of jets. Now we can put whatever numbers we want. We can put here, for example, 10 jets, 100 jets, up to you. On the y-axis we can put the actual price of a jet Let's just say it's about $20 million, could be more, for a jet. So now we're going to have our equilibrium point, point A. And now we need to have the demand curve, which is downward sloping. But now look at the demand curve. Now we are going to put government on the demand curve, because it's the government that demands the jets. And for the supply curve, we can draw the supply curve as upward sloping. We can put here, for example, Boeing or whatever company that supplies the jets. So to make things simple, we know that when the Congress spends more money on military, that's counted in GDP, this would impact the demand curve in the government market to shift to the right, like so. And now we have a brand new point called point B, where on the x-axis, there will be more jets consumed by the government. And as the government demands more of these jets, it does put pressure on the price to eventually increase down the line. So this is what we call fiscal policy, that of government spending. But now we want to see how this affects demand pull inflation. So next to our government market, we can draw our ADAS model. On the x-axis, we're going to have real GDP. Again, this is when we look at a base year, zero. And on the y-axis, we can put the price level, inflation in that sense. Let's just use $19.1 trillion on the x-axis. And let's put 1.9% inflation on the y-axis. So now we're going to have our equilibrium point, call it point A. And now we can draw the aggregate demand curve, AD, which we know is a function of GDP. And we're focusing on G for government spending. And here we can draw the SRAS short run aggregate supply curve. So now we can see back at government 
policy, the fiscal policy, government spending. When we see more money spent by the government, this is going to also affect the GDP. And if you remember that GDP is a function of G, there is a positive sign in front of G. So any increase in G will increase GDP due to the positive relationship that both components have. So as the government spends more money, GDP will also increase, which would then affect the AD curve to shift to the right. Now we can illustrate this AD curve shift to the right like so, 81, 80, 0. And now we can see that these two graphs are connected at point B in the government market all the way to our ADAS model, point B. And as we can see in the whole economy, we are growing. However, we do have a higher level of inflation, maybe 2.1%, 2.2%. And with higher inflation, we know that this causes a demand, AD, pull inflation. All from the perspective of fiscal policy of government spending.